Hi guys, Colsey. I don't want to shock you guys, but I might be a genius. Either I'm a genius and I figured out an incredible hack with OBS for uh, recording multiple cameras all at once, or I'm an idiot for not figuring this out sooner. So, I mean, it's one of the two, and either way, I'm gonna explain it to you guys today so that you guys can also join me in knowing this information if you didn't, or if you did already know it and I didn't, I guess you can make fun of me for it. But, do you know what? Do you know how you guys can be geniuses and not be idiots? That's right, by using code Colsey5 at fiercepc.co.uk to get your gaming PCs. That's right. Code Colsey5 will get you a whole 5% off your PC and and just save you a bunch of money that you could spend on games or something. Shameless plug out of the way. Legitimately came up with this idea the other night and I think it's pretty darn good. So it's a hack to do with OBS. Now I use OBS Studio to record my videos, to stream with. Uh, we're specifically talking about recording today. So the other day, uh, me and Jake recorded a VR video and we had multiple cameras set up. There were multiple things recording, okay? So I had the Oculus, this boy, had the, you know, the video feed from this being recorded on the PC so that we could actually see the gameplay footage. So I had that recording. I used OBS for that. Use OBS Studio to record the gameplay. Now OBS records the gameplay, that's its main focus, it does that. And then I'll open up the either webcam software when I used to use the webcam or the capture card software now that I'm using a camera via capture card. So that would record the camera, OBS would record the game, then I edit them together afterwards. It's never been a problem for me, really. Honestly, it, my computer is decent enough that it's, it's able to handle recording a camera and recording uh, gameplay in two separate pieces of software and they run together. And also obviously it has to run the game at the same time to play and be able to record. So anyway, I've never had a problem, but I think I've got a better system. And specifically, like I said, talking about VR, when me and Jake were trying to record VR, we realized how difficult this was. We had some teething issues at the beginning. This is the system we had. OBS recording the Oculus footage. Then I had webcam, webcam recording like standing room where you will be, the person will be standing playing VR. Then I had the camera turned and recording me sat in a chair over there. That meant that I had three separate pieces of software being run to record. I had webcam software, I had uh, capture card software, and I had OBS Studio. Now these three were all running individually, recording their own little bits. I also had uh, the game running, which is a VR game, which is naturally more intensive than a normal PC game. It has to run at a higher frame rate. It has to run uh, dual monitors in your eyes. You know what I mean. It has to run two different ones, one for the left eye, one for the right eye, two different screens in the headset. It's more for the PC to run. We noticed that the game was lagging and it wasn't very nice to play in the Oculus. And we also noticed that it was having some issues with recording, but for whatever reason, all of the stuff running all at once made the PC chug a bit and was not fun, especially when you're playing VR, which is very, um, it's very disorientating. If it starts lagging, it's not very nice to be in. So specifically for VR, it really, really sucks. But I need a way of recording all of these different angles. Now, yes, I could take the camera off and not record through a capture card and then take the SD card out, plug that into the PC layer, but that's a pain in the ass and I don't want to do that. But big brain genius here, I have come up with a solution. So I'm going to talk you through it. This is my OBS, right? You're looking at it now. Now you'll see that this looks weird. There's multiple different cameras here. Uh, this bottom right is my webcam. Uh, sorry, bottom right is my camera that I'm using. Top right is a webcam. Hello webcam, you're up there. Uh, and then top left is uh, just screen capture at the minute. Uh, bottom left is nothing currently. So what normally I will do, what I have always done in the past is I have OBS, I have it set to 1080p. Uh, the canvas size is set to 1080p because that is the resolution I play at. So I record everything at 1080p. The monitors are 1080p, like the game is captured 1080p because it's running at 1080p, camera's captured at 1080p, webcam is captured at 1080p. They're all 1080p things. Obviously I can only fit 1080p onto this little square when it's set to 1080p. That's the point of it. But then I had the genius moment of thinking, hang on, 4K is four 1080p's. That's four times. So 
using maths and the brain, I could fit four separate 1080p's into a 4K recording without them overlapping. And then when I edit it, I can just crop them down and like copy and paste the footage. So then I can be like, well, crop to bottom right, that'll be the webcam. Uh, put that on another layer in the edit. Crop to top left, that's the game. Put that on a separate layer. But then everything's all recorded together in one. Are you getting me? Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I have done is I have set my OBS. If I go to preview scaling, you'll see that it says canvas is set to 3840 by 2160, which is the resolution of 4K, I think. It's 4.1080s anyway. So I have set that to 4K. This is now recording. This whole screen, this four monitor shit is 4K recording, but it's recording four separate 1080s all at the same time. That means I don't have to have multiple pieces of software open to record multiple cameras. I just have to have OBS open and then I can record it. I guess we could go higher than this. I'm not entirely sure how high uh, canvas size OBS can go. I don't know whether we could be like, let's do 8K and then just record like 12 1080s. I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. I know that this is working because I'm currently recording it now and I tested it the other day. Not only am I getting the footage, I'm getting the camera, I'm getting the webcam, and they're all recorded. And if I need them, they're there. If I don't need them, for example, uh, I'm probably not gonna use this webcam up here very much for this video because I don't need it. But it is there and it is recorded as a separate backup camera should I ever need it. And if I don't need it, I just don't have to crop to that bit of the footage when I make the video. So this is how I set the canvas. You go into settings, you go into video, and I just typed in the, uh, the canvas as 3840 by 2160, that sorted that out. Then all you do is when I add, whatever you add, a window capture, for example, a display capture, it will just add it at 1080. It will just put it in as, as a 1080p size thing because that's the size of it. So then I just moved it to a corner. Same with both cameras. They automatically come in as 1080p because they are 1080p uh, cameras that they are being received as. Uh, and then I just drag them to the corner. So everything's all nice in its separate corner and you can easily crop it out when you're editing the footage. Okay, the other thing I guess I can show you is, again, this is mostly for VR recording for me because that seems to be where I've, the only time I've really ever come up against this pain in the arseness of having to record with like four different softwares. Everything is all in one file. That does sort of make it a little bit more riskier or your eggs are in one basket. But then at the end of the day, if I lost the game footage and I only had the webcam footage, that's not really a video anyway. I need both of them, otherwise I can't do a lot with it. So this is the audio setup I have. Like I said, it's a VR. So the headphones from the Oculus are recorded. That's where I will get the Oculus sound uh, for the game and stuff. <clears throat> then mic, I have this mic. Uh, these are nice mics, these are good mics to, to do this kind of video in, but not great for doing Oculus because I need to have a wireless mic. Luckily, I do have a, a XLR I can plug in to this exact same um, audio interface here, the M Audio M Track. I can plug in a wireless mic into that, so then I'll be using the wireless microphone without having to change this. So that's good, that's the preferred option. Then backup one is the actual microphone itself from the Oculus. It's not awful, it's not as good as a dedicated microphone uh, but it will do in a push if the microphone fails, it sounds trash, something goes wrong. Then third backup, again, cannot stress how good it is to have a backup backup. In case that's awful, uh, in case for some reason I've accidentally muted the mic in the Oculus uh, and the other mic breaks, or the Oculus is turned up too sensitive and everything is deafening and just blowing out the microphone, the backup backup is I have the microphone from the Live Gamer Mini capture card, the Ave Media capture card, which means it is the dedicated, it's the camera audio from this camera that you're looking at now. I barely ever use this, but if need be, it does pick up enough of the room that you can actually hear me talking and it's fairly clear. That's all my audio setup uh, because there should be no problem. As long as I can hear the game through the Oculus headphones, which I'll obviously know while I'm playing if I can't hear it, uh, that it's being recorded. And then there's three different microphones being recorded so that I definitely have something being recorded that I can use. So really this is my hack, is using OBS recording as 4K, setting the canvas as 4K, and then putting all your 1080p uh, scenes into it, which you can then just crop out. The last thing for me to do, really, was to test VR, because that's where I had the issue. Now I haven't actually tested VR, so this all could be crap. And <laughs> this could make no difference and it could just be that VR is too taxing on my system in general. So, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into some VR super quick uh, so that you guys can see it. It also gives me a good chance to test out my other microphones and see how those work uh, as backup systems. Okie dokie. I'm now in VR, basically where I normally stand in VR. I don't normally have this chair behind me, but I'm in VR now. Uh, and I've set the camera up kind of pointing at Snorlax over on my chair. Uh, that, that's where I would sit if I was recording a VR video with somebody else. I'd sit out of the way over there. So Snorlax is being my place saver for me. Uh, and then I am being the VR. So I'm recording VR in the top left. I'm recording the standing VR person top right. And then bottom right is my voice Snorlax, which is standing in for me. Let's just play Beat Saber. Beat Saber is super easy and simple to set up. I'm not good at it, but we'll try it. Everything seems to be, I'm not having any issues in VR. Like I'm genuinely not. It's not even the tiniest bit skinny. If anything, the only problem I'm having is my forehead is too sweaty and it's making it a little hard to see. I've steamed up the, I've steamed up the goggles. That's okay, fine, I don't need to see very well anyway. I'm gonna get copyright for all of these. I've just realized. Um, can't play any of these. That's why I've never played Beat Saber. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely running absolutely fine. Apart from, like I said, me sweating up and steaming up the goggles. I am just playing this on normal because I'm, I'm a chicken and I don't want to ball this up too badly. I am being a bit wary not to hit stuff because I, I haven't exactly set up the area perfectly. I mean, Snorlax isn't normally watching me when I play. I think that'll do, to be fair. Um, purely because I can't be bothered to put my, my seat back and then remove the camera and stuff. I'm just gonna stand here awkwardly and finish the video like this. That's my little hack to record multiple uh, cameras at once. Like I said, works particularly well with VR and as you've just seen, works particularly well with VR, uh, so that you don't have to have multiple different softwares open for all the different cameras and angles and stuff that you might be using. Uh, VR is just the case that I use it for. You might have a specific case where you're using a lot of different cameras or inputs or something. And instead of using a different software to record each of those, you can do this. You can set your canvas size in OBS to a bigger one and just plop them all on one. It's great. It means that I don't have to worry about over taxing my PC with too much software. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, think that this is actually a clever idea that I've come up with, or am I an idiot for only figuring this out now? Nah. Is this a useful piece of information to share with you guys, is what I'm saying. It just came out of nowhere into my brain, and I feel like it was a great idea, so I figured I may as well share it with you guys uh, if you're in a similar situation to me. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy it. Thanks to my boy Snorlax for standing in there and, and being a little dude. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.